Hello. In this video, I want to quickly show the differences between the 3D visualizations in the surface and the rendering view. First of all, I'm loading a statistical object. In this case, I'm simply selecting a map and then select the map that I want to show, which is a contrast. And the first option is to simply load a surface file. So I'm going to the Colin 27 dataset surfaces and I'm loading a relatively a um, high quality surface in this time. And uh, once this is loaded, I can then go to the VMP menu Create SMP, which will create um, a map for each of the available maps. It automatically asks me to save this, and I will do so under a, a file name. And um, then it shows me the map, and once again, I'm selecting the second contrast. Once this is selected, I will quickly smooth the uh, um, surface just a bit so that I can um, look at a little more into the uh, gyri on cell side. This will take a little longer because this is uh, a map that has more vertices. Next I will um, apply a cluster threshold. I will set a relatively large cluster size so that I really only see clusters that um, I'm interested in. And I will now um, undock this view by clicking on the undock button, which will create uh, a secondary view. And um, I will now hit Shift S, which allows me to save a screenshot. And if I um, then select Save as Type Encapsulated Postscript, this allows me to then save a file format um, that contains the actual position of the vertices with their color, um, which then allows for much higher quality rendering. This takes a little while. That's a relatively large file, so just be a little patient. In the meantime, I can already start a graphics program, and I've chosen the GIMP. Um, it's free of charge for all major operating systems. Under Windows, please make sure to also install uh, GhostScript, which is the uh, program to actually render the um, file that I just saved. So if I now click or select this uh, um, file, it asks for which resolution I want to render this in. And um, 300 dpi is already a relatively high, high resolution. As you can see, the image will be um, two and a half thousand by three and a half thousand pixels. I will just uh, click import. This will take a, a short while, and then I can see the image. And while at first it might seem that um, it's not actually much better quality, if I zoom in, you can actually see that um, the surface still looks very, very smooth. And only if you zoom in um, to a really high zoom level, then it becomes, um, you know, pixely. And even that can be avoided by um, in, uh, importing the file to an even higher resolution, let's say 600 dpi, which will probably take quite a while now. But um, for demonstration purposes, I think that's OK. So if I now zoom back into roughly the portion that I had before, you can already see that now I need to zoom even further um, to get this kind of uh, pixely look. Okay, so this is um, one way. And of course, um, using this kind of uh, screenshot, you can also rotate um, the surface to your liking, zoom or um, show several maps, whatever you want. The other way to um, display information is using the rendering module. To do that, um, I would suggest that you load one of the segback, uh, which is back projected from surface uh, files. And in this case, I'm choosing also the left hemisphere. And um, to get um, a more well-defined outer uh, um, uh, uh, kind of surface, I increase the contrast of the file now so that um, I can then easily uh, um, show a very, very well-defined um, surface. 
Next, I click the Render button, which opens the rendering UI. There's a lot of options in the rendering UI. Importantly, you always need to define the area that you want to render and a resolution. You have then some options for um, additional objects that you want to use for the transparency information. And you can then also play around with the statistics, for instance, by smoothing the border, which I will do so that at the uh, um, very edge I won't have uh, um, any problems with uh, um, very, very pixely edges. I'll try to match roughly the cluster size thresholds and then I'll smooth um, the border. And um, now I will start the rendering. And I begin in a very low resolution because this doesn't take as much time. And um, while this is rendering, um, you can actually see the slices that the uh, that it kind of um, creates to produce the final result. And um, once you've come to a, a kind of an image that you like, then it's time to switch to a high resolution.